Ezekiel chapter 37 Kakitap ka yong Ezekiel nong yeto lupa kal nong ka balai pinyao In the situation in our churches and in our lives Ka jing long jongi haki balang ba ki jing em jongi shimat shimat They cannot change Ken nom la ban kala unless God steps in Lam dau blai u wan shangi And I believe that God still steps in Bat nga 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 bau blai u dang yai wan shanga shapi No matter how hopeless things may seem Compare like ye ki ai ki bai do jingerman If God is with us nothing can be impossible La dau blai u dan bat ni en nam dan kanu kanu ka bam la ban long If God is on our side revival will come La dau blai u dan ha kaliang jongi kari revival kan wan The bible says Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. The Bible also says, The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? So this vision that was given to the prophet was given at a very important period of the life of the people of Israel. You know my, you know my friends, the people of Israel thought that somehow because they had turned away from God, Kikskon Israel ki perkhat kumne banamar bakila phai dalung kedong ya ublai God had a right to turn against them ublai ru on phai dalung kedong ya ki and he did that but ulale ya kata but my friends the fact is this and raika jin sisha ka bangim la so to kalong kane we can never understand the loving kindness and the mercy of god almighty yen nom la ban sko to ya ka jing i e pa ma yan blai ba ya ka jing i sen e jong blai ba don bor baro and if i was to determine today before you la dang a na dei ban rai cha pang ye la dei ka ne ge jan mi that i was worthy of the mercy of god bang a long u ba dei hok ban yo ya ka jing i sen e ka jong blai then i would say that i am not worthy ngan ong nga ngam don But I'm pleased to tell you today. That I don't make that kind of determination. Neither do you make that kind of determination. It, it is a determination that is left to God alone. And God is more merciful, more compassionate and more long suffering than we can ever understand. But u blai u long ba isnai u ba dap da ka jingie, but u ba sha slam hado kata-kata ban ya ka bangila ban snow to. Kulai ko
Jesus says, Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But let me warn you, my friends. If you decide this afternoon to come back to God, if you decide this afternoon to come to the cross of Jesus Christ, you you will have to face persecution. It's not going to be easy. Your sickness might not disappear. Your problems may not go away. Many times your problem increase. But if this afternoon you decide to come to the cross of Jesus Christ and invite Christ into your life, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and strengthen you. You will no longer have to face the problems of life alone. Christ will face it with you. Don't you want that to happen in your life? Don't you want that to happen in your home? You can do that, you can have that by coming to the cross of Jesus. And allow the blood of Christ to cleanse you. There's a beautiful story of a man called Tom and a lady called Mary. Tom and Mary ran to the school when they heard that the son was run over by a car. And they saw the little boy lying on the road with blood all over. And Mary said, I wanted to go to the, to the road and scoop the blood and, and put it back on my son. Mary said, and the ambulance came and they carried the, the body of the little boy to the side of the road. But the blood was still there on the road. And Tom and Mary sat there looking at the son. And they turned their eyes on the blood that was there on the road. And suddenly a car drove by. That driver was not, didn't know anything about the accident. And he drove over the blood. But the driver And Mary cried out to the driver. Don't please drive over that blood. What no That blood is the blood of my son. And Tom and Mary said, Tom and Mary It was only that day that they understood the preciousness of the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ's Son cleanses us from all sin. If you're not sure that you're cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, you make sure today you may never have a moment like this again in your life. This is your moment with God. You've come with problems and burdens. You've come with anxiety. God can help you, my friends. The Bible goes on to the Bible. First, you must be willing to repent. Secondly, you must receive Christ by faith like a little child. And then thirdly, you must openly witness for him.
And if you do that this afternoon, even as the breath of God made those dry bones and bodies come alive again, I believe the Holy Spirit is moving in our midst this afternoon. The breath of God wants to come into your home, come into your life. You have to allow the breath of God to come into your life. Wow. Uh-huh.